Let's get ready to math! Okay, solving rational equations. It's all led up to this. Think back to the lesson where we solved by clearing fractions. We would take something like this, multiply by whatever your common denominator is, distribute it out to each term, and then see what cancels out. In this case, the 12 and 3 leave a 4, the 12 and 4 leave a 3, and the 12 and 6 leave a 2. Then we can multiply everything in 4 plus 3x equals 2 times 5, 10, and we can solve from there. And we're going to use that same method to solve rational equations. First, multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator, clear out those fractions, distribute, and solve. Let's get into it. 3 over x plus 2 minus 1 over x equals 1 over 5x. First, find the common denominator. In this case, it's going to be 5x times x plus 2. Let's go ahead and take that and multiply it to each side of the equation. After distributing that out, we're left with this guy right here. Now's the fun part where we can cancel. These x plus 2's are going to cancel out. This x is going to cancel with this x. And over here, the 5x and the 5x are gone. And distributing everything out, we have 5x times 3, 15x, negative 5 distributed, negative 5 times x is minus 5x, negative 5 times 2 is minus 10, remember to distribute that negative, equals, and we're just left with the x plus 2 over here. And now we just got to solve. 15x minus 5x is 10x minus the x over here, leaves us with 9x, add the 10 to the right, equals 12. Divide it out, we get x equals 12 ninths, which simplifies to 4 thirds. Let's try another. 10 over xx minus 2 plus 4 over x equals 5 over x minus 2. We've got our common denominator of x, x minus 2. Let's go ahead and multiply that out. That'll bring us right here with the xx minus 2 multiplied to each term. Now, my favorite part, let's cancel stuff out. x and x is going to cancel. These x minus 2s, these x's right here and these x minus 2's on the right. Distributing out, we have a 10 left over here since everything canceled. We've got x minus 2 times 4, that's 4x minus 8 equals 5x. Solving this, we get x equals 2. Check the original equation. What? What was that? Check the original equation. All right, if you say so, let's move on back there and see what this mysterious voice is talking about. Whoops. Okay. All right, we've got x equals 2, so I don't get what the big deal is. Wait. Wait a minute. If I plug this 2 in for x here, that's going to give me 2 minus 2, which is 0. And I can't have a denominator of 0. So since this 2 does not work in the original equation, this rational expression has no solution. So go ahead and add another step in your process. At the end of everything, check that your solutions are valid. Make sure you don't get a denominator of zero. Let's go for one more and we'll call it a day. One over x minus six plus x over x minus two equals four over x squared minus eight x plus 12. Looks like we should factor this before we see what our common denominator is. Doing that, we get x minus 6 and x minus 2. Perfect. It looks like those are going to match up with what we've got here. And that just so happens to be the common denominator. Let's go ahead and multiply that to each side. After we distribute that out to each term, my favorite part, once again, canceling things out. We got x minus 6, x minus 2 here, and it looks like everything is going to go on the right side. Distributing out, we get x minus 2 plus x squared minus 6x equals 4. Now, let's solve. Well, I see we do have a quadratic equation here, so let's set this whole thing equal to 0. Doing that, we're left with x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Let's check if we can factor, and it looks like we can. Factors of negative 6 that add to negative 5. We get x minus 6 times x plus 1 equals 0 and solutions of x equals 6 and negative 1. But before we finish up, let's check these in with our original equation. I went ahead and left this side factored because it's much easier to check. First up, the 6. If 
I plug the 6 in, we can see right here it's not going to work out. That 6 minus 6 will give us a 0. So the 6 is a no-go. What about the negative 1? Looks clear here. Negative 1 minus 2 looks clear here. So that negative 1 does work out. And that's going to be our final solution. x equals negative 1. And you just math.